Hi Virgos! Welcome to my channel! We're doing your dailies. This is your 9 to 10 Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Good morning, America! Good morning, world! How is everybody? Mm -hmm. mm. Let's see here. Um, I see here that someone is celebrating if you have a kid or a baby or something like that. Or they're not a baby because they're turning 7 years old. Happy birthday to your... Um, daughter or I don't know if, if what the gender is okay <laughs> a happy birthday to that um, little nugget of yours okay here we go Virgo Sun Moon Rising Venus and Jupiter let's see you're probably attending a seventh seven year old birthday something about celebration on the seventh oh it is the seventh today Virgo so either you're celebrating something okay let's see though Sun Moon Rising Venus and Jupiter let's see it's interesting because I know I predicted something with how many predictions I have. <laughs> I, couldn't even know. I know something is big supposed to be on the 7th. But this is for the 9th to the 10th. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Okay, let's see here. Here we go. Let's see. I'm not going to be so upbeat because I'm so plugged in. So basically, they have me by the balls. I'm kidding. <laughs> the energies are like... <laughs> oh, let's see what's going on. Here we go. You have your Ace of Wands. Okay. What's this about? New connection, new love, fire sign. Of course, given, right? I'm hearing kaboom. Is it fireworks? I hope so. Is there construction near you? I think so. Something is making loud noises near you also. Kaboom, kaboom. Either you're you're hitting the tone or something like that. There's but there's loud sounds. I'm hearing it. Either it's loud loud sounds around you or the feeling that you have for this person is very loud. Now. Nah. Okay. Because okay. I have new ones, but it's not charged yet. Okay, I'll use this. So there's loud sounds and I'm hearing also they're saying go, go, go. I don't know what that means. So if it's a new, new opportunity with regard to something creative, they're saying go, okay? Can be with the person also. You guys just gotta go, all right? I mean, I don't you gotta go with them or you gotta go. <laughs> Apply it to your situation. Let me see the other person. The other person's nine of pentacles, but this can be you. Single, successful, and we all know that this is the, you know, everybody loves the nine of pentacles, but in reality, who really wants to be single and successful? Mm -hmm. Now you question yourself. Okay. <laughs> because you're here because you're already single and successful. Then success comes with what? Thinking that you need a partner. Mm -mm, not happening. Okay. <laughs> Just letting you know. If you're enjoying this moment, enjoy this moment. And there's someone that's coming towards you. But this person can be already with you or around you. However, you probably are more inclined here, or they're inclined here with the Nine of Pentacles. Now, you're going to ask me, so Sal, is, this, is the person non-committal? I don't think so. I don't think that they're non-committal. I think this person is wanting to be engaged, okay? Someone wants to be engaged because they already matured, okay? Can be engaged in a relationship also, okay? Someone here is single and there's a lot of offers, yes, but it's all phallic. The booty call. Mm-hmm. Let me see. Oh, Justice card. Oh, wow. I like this. Sorry, I'm just looking at the... I'm looking at planets. Okay, so basically, we are in the Situation Room. Okay. Okay. So, with the Nine of Pentacles and Justice card over here, someone really wants to be in partnership over here. There can be a contract between you and this person that already exists. But this is, can be a past life karma connection. You know, that's the contract that you have with this person. Because this is your K2. Okay. There's something about this person that you need to understand with regards to how they do things. Okay. That always triggers you. The person that you're connecting with always triggers something that you... It's like, I don't want to be harsh, but this person really just knows how to push my button. Because they're always leaning on one side of the situation. It can be the person is always leaning on their favor and never on your favor. So for you, it's not fair. And what for you, what is not fair, you get reaction that is a nine of swords. Okay? Because I'm hearing it's not fair. It's not fair. It's always your way, you know? And for them, this person is just like, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> okay. Let me see here. Other person. The hermit card. Okay. So here we go. Can be a Virgo also. Oh, wait, you're a Virgo. <laughs> okay. So you're the one. You're the one here. Mm hmm. 
you're the one on this side who wants to make things everything right but always seems like how come every time I make things right it doesn't go right <laughs> okay <laughs> don't blame yourself though because someone here wants to commit to you but it's almost like you always mess it up I'm, I'm just saying it could be the other person okay someone here is also holding their tongue the person that you're connecting with they want to connect with you but they're very much scared threatened fearful and why are you why are you being feared i believe because you have some sort of mysteriosity around you like you you manage to make things go the way you want to but not not being seen Oh, manipulation. <laughs> so either you're trying to manipulate the person, not putting labels over here, because you're trying to make something go in your favor by not doing anything. They don't like that. They want you to be more responsive. They want you to be more reactive because what you're doing is working. Oh, wow, that's good. Because you're letting it be. <laughs> Letting it be, this person is fearful because they feel like, okay, I don't know where I stand. They're letting it be. Then now I need to be the one to take action. Oh, wow. You are wise, Virgo. You are wise. Keep doing what you're doing. The person is being triggered to basically open up. Okay? So I'm going to continue this reading um, with a 9 to the 10. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. That is a wonderful technique, Virgo. Okay? <laughs> and we'll see how this person opens up. And the other person here is just letting it be right now. And results are coming. Thank you very much, guys. I'll see you guys again. Hi, Virgos. This is the extended. Um, who goes there? Only if you resonate 1 million percent. Practice your own discernment. And only if you're in a cycle with a person that's so confusing and you just need to understand. Okay. Like, it is just confusing. You guys have been in a cycle for I don't know how long, but it just keep going on and on in circles. And you don't know if you're going to go, you should stay. They've been staying, you should go. And it's almost like, why are we always just going around and around? There. The extended might help you. Thank you very much, you guys, for watching. Next to this is Snippets. Bye. Key two. So chances are, well, more soulmate. Um, it's going to be a Cancerian that you're connecting with. Okay, or in a partnership. Court. A real relationship material. A uh, relationship that manifests...